three under two. Good morning, guys. So needless to say, yesterday didn't go as planned. We got in to Warnable and to our place really late. I think it was like 7.30 after we picked up um, takeaway and then brought it here. Originally, when we were in Geelong, we weren't gonna do the Great Ocean Road, but we thought when we're leaving, well, Torquay's right here and we can jump on. And I think we saw online, um, Google or whatever, had it at three and a half hours. So we thought, okay, we'd get there at four o'clock. Few things that we didn't anticipate was how long we'd be staying at those places and then also how slow that people would be driving on the road. Being a scenic drive, a lot of people were just doing 60Ks even though it was like 80 or 100 and it was very windy as well. So people were either A, enjoying the drive or B, tourists or whatever that were used to our roads or whatever and they will going really slow. So all of those factors put in meant that by the time we got to Lockhart, it was like getting dark and dark. So by the time we left there, we drove from Lockhart to Warnable in the dark. And yeah, like driving those windy roads and stuff like that in the dark, doing like 80, 100 Ks, not what we want to do. Okay, so the motel room is all cleaned up, the car is packed and we are ready to go. This is somewhat a bit interesting, we've stayed in a lot of motel rooms and we've stayed at a lot of caravan parks, but this is a motel room in a caravan park. And I guess like you get the luxury of having like, you know, a solid brick place uh, with all the amenities of a caravan park, which is pretty cool. I mean, it's not too different than staying in a cabin, but a cabin's you know, wood and board and stuff like that. But yeah, not too bad. We really enjoyed it here. And now we're gonna hop in the car and head off. So we've just stopped here at Pickering Point, Stingray Bay, and we're gonna get the drone up and it looks absolutely beautiful. Umphiston sinkhole and we're gonna go and check it out. We'll have to come and have a look at it though, it's amazing. Oh, you can go and have 
once the city stormwater catchment but in the early 2000s they had a vote and decided to revamp the place into the garden that you see now. Thanks for watching this video and if you want to support the channel click the like button below and if you want to see even more content, check out our Instagram, which is three underscore under two.